Ik zal nu aan die kandidaten wat in mij voorgesteld wordt, die betrokken ihre doktersgraden verleen. I'll now confer on the candidates who are presented to me the respective honorary doctorates. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Victor Kofi Agawu with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Philosophy honoris causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Professor Kofi Agawu, a Ghanaian by birth, is undoubtedly the most revered music scholar to have come from the African continent. As professor of musicology and music theory at Princeton University, one of the most prestigious positions in this discipline in the United States, Kofi Agawa is regarded as the foremost authority on African music today, and his publications on the music of the continent have become the standard text for scholarship in this field. From the late 1970s to the early 1980s, Kofi Agawa studied music analysis and historical musicology at Reading University, King's College London, and Stanford University. He also obtained certifications in the teaching of singing and in musicianship and music theory from the Royal Academy of Music and the Royal College of Music, respectively. Following associations with Yale and Cornell Universities, King's College of London, Duke University, Haverford College, as well as Harvard, Kofi Agawa joined Princeton in 1998. Here, he has been crossing traditional boundaries in musical scholarship ever since. Particularly, his ability to straddle the two very different musical positions of the 18th and 19th century Europe and of the West Africa, and to bridge the gap between what were up to then regarded as irreconcilable cultural differences is regarded as the benchmark for all similar research. He has also made groundbreaking contributions to the fields of semiotics and post-colonial studies. Professor Agao's work has been recognized internationally he has received an impressive array of awards and accolades, including the prestigious Dent Medal of the Royal Musical Association and, in national, and the International Musicological Society in recognition of, I quote, outstanding contributions to musicology. In addition, the Guggenheim Fellowship, the Young Scholar Award of the Society of Music Theory, the Harrison Medal of the Irish Society of Musicology, the Eva Judd O'Meara Award of the Music Library Association, and the Howard T. Beerman Award of Princeton. <coughs> Yet, despite this international success, Kofi Agawa remains committed to his African roots. He is a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences and has a long-standing affiliation with the University of Ghana. In addition, he has recently accepted an appointment as extraordinary professor in the Department of Music at Stellenbosch University. Here he will assist in developing perspectives that will point the way forward to the next generation of musicologists. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I therefore request that you confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy honoris causa on Victor Kofi Agawu for his internationally acclaimed contribution to musicology for his groundbreaking research on African music and for serving as an inspiration for the next generation of African scholars by epitomizing the quality of scholarship that emerges from this continent. I hereby confer on you, Kofi Agawu, the degree of philosophy Honoris Causa.
Mr. Vice Chancellor, members of Council, uh, members of Senate, colleagues, Professor Agao and Dr. Christy Agao. I'm greatly honored to propose a toast this afternoon to Professor Kofi Agao in celebration of his distinguished career and his inspiring work. Music in Africa has a distinguished history of speaking truth to power. South Africa's recent history provides an exemplary demonstration of this. Throughout a century experienced by a majority of South Africans as one of dispossession, repression, denial, and indifference, music encouraged, uplifted, consoled, rallied, educated, and yes, spoke truth to power. It continues to do so in the everyday lives of many in our country and on our continent. Music scholars in and from Africa have had, therefore, a great responsibility. We document, we analyze, we interpret, curate, nurture, and disseminate not only the music we study, but the endurance and heroism, the joy and dignity of the many musics that form part of the heritage and lives of people. Professor Agao has set new standards in answering to this imperative. Throughout a career spent in the most prestigious universities worldwide, he has done more than any other scholar of African music to interrogate tired positions, to dismantle offensive stereotypes, and to reposition musical discourse about African music in a critically probing and intellectually rigorous way. He's been able to do this because of his versatility as a music scholar, because of the respect that his writing and research has earned from scholars worldwide and across disciplinary divides, and because of his quiet and personable manner that is admirably consistent with the dignity of his vocational interests. Kofi Agao has formulated questions in music research that will occupy our discipline for a long time to come. But he has also set an inspirational example of how to set about answering them in a way that balances the imperatives of scholarship and redress. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now to charge your glasses and to be upstanding. <laughs> and I propose a toast to the health of Professor Kofi Agao and his wife, Christy. Thank you very much, Professor Muller, for those kind words. I would have preferred to yield my three minutes to you so that you can say some more nice things about me, <laughs> since uh, that doesn't happen very often. But I understand that the ritual must continue. So when I first visited Stellenbosch in 2002 as a member of a two-man team set up by the NRF to evaluate music programs in South African universities, I had no idea what sort of future lay ahead for me and this distinguished university. Uh, a second visit later that same year brought me into closer contact with my colleague, Professor Ludemann, who was then, I believe, chair of the South African Musicological Association. And within a few years, I was being roped into serving as an external examiner for doctoral dissertations. Late last year, and thanks to Dr. Kola and Professor Ludemann and their colleagues, I was made extraordinary professor in the music department. And before I knew it, it was, I was being given another PhD, this time a PhD honoris causa by Stellenbosch. So as young people today like to say, it's all good. <laughs> in the Ghanaian tradition in which I grew up, an occasion like this would be an occasion on which to acknowledge the many people who've made me what I am today. My list is long, very long. Uh, so I'll have to save it and inflict it on another audience. But at minimum, 
It will include Christy Agao, my wife and life partner, sociologist by training, entrepreneur. My brother, Emmanuel, who is also here. Can you raise your hand so they can see you? Um, who flew in from Bangui in the Central African Republic, where he serves as Deputy Director of the United Nations Mission Minis MINUSCA, uh, and he's standing in for our extended family. Um, and also my teachers, students, a few colleagues, and the numerous reviewers of my books, especially those who wrote harsh things about my books. <laughs> so our people have a saying that which translates as the time that you are in or the time that you're living in its thing is what is done this is their way of registering a belief in the contemporary and doing so with pragmatism and common sense i like to believe that this belief has guided my life i went to school i became an academic I read semiotics, I made Shankar graphs, and I dabbled in postcolonial theory. And to these, uh, a little luck in finding jobs in places like Princeton, where I've been able to work in complete intellectual freedom. Uh, and then the picture is complete. So when I arrived in my hotel yesterday afternoon after a long transatlantic flight, a delayed connecting flight, and a lively seminar during which I was required to stay awake and answer <laughs> questions about many different issues, I found a beautiful handwritten message from Professor Wim de Villiers, Rector and Vice Chancellor, uh, highlighting our mutual investments in the local and the global and welcoming me into the Stellenbosch family. I very much look forward to continued association with the university and with my colleagues here. So thank you once again for bestowing this great honor on me. Thank you.